Well, howdy, everybody. This is Steve, a thousand year home. How are you holding up in this heat? <laughs> it's pretty, pretty rough. So I'm back from the Gulf Coast. We cut our trip a little short because the hurricane really did tear it up over there. So surprised about that, a category one really tore it up. So uh, out and about today, sorry for the noise. I got to get the tire that I got going low fixed up. I got my trailer to get into the woods and do some logging again. And I need to run to a city nearby called Page and pick up a, a 25 foot extension ladder that I'll be needing. So uh, that's what I'm working on here. So I appreciate everybody. I love this old tire place, Rotate. It's usually 20 bucks to get my stuff fixed here. We'll find out. I always got to find a safety lugs on these and it's always a pain in the neck. All right, let me see here. I love having a bench seat. That's one of the nice things of this brand new Ford. Oh, good. All right, life is good. Uh, driver's side. I was just getting you the key for that. And it's a slow leak, so I go to 40 and then it goes down to 20 and kind of sits there. Alright, might as well take a look at these brake pads while I'm at it. Ah, getting there. Motor looks good. I love these old timey places. It'll be a $20 bill, I guarantee you. <laughs> I should bring all my vehicles here and have them rotate the tires. All right, well, they fixed the tire. So same thing they found before, these little bits of metal. I don't know where they're coming from. My, my opinion is they're coming from one of the dirt roads that I go down. My property it would be like a mesquite, but these have all been metal. Well, thank you kindly. What do I owe ya? All right, so I made it to Paul's and Elgin. Look at those. Aren't those fun? So I, I picked those all up. There's only three of the horses, but uh, there are a couple of other different kinds of decorative ones. So I'll be able to cobble something together out of all of that. So there are a lot of brackets, a lot of hinges. See, those are hinges for gates. And he just said uh, $100 for all of that and uh, uh, pipes. He said 5 bucks a pipe. So I bought 10 different kinds of pipes. There's some big ones. Only one that size. But there's all of the, all of the smaller ones that fit in there. 8 foot, 4 foot, 5 foot. Anyway, I'll work all that out. And then I've got a, uh, an old ladder. I am going to use that for roof rafters in my... Uh, sawmill since i need a 20 foot span i'm going to use two of those for the 20 foot span so that i could just drop a log on the sawmill so all right i'm pretty happy about that still mighty hot man mighty hot so let me show you the next step that i'm going to do which is uh shredding getting ready for some more logging all right so uh <laughs> here's a little lightning Behind me is a Yopon cedar thicket, kind of a older and developed. So uh, everything was that thick, let me rotate. This is in front of me, so you, can you see the difference, right? So I just got done mowing, shredding this. Uh, first I shred it like a foot and a half up, get everything down, leave it die for a month. But that was before, right there, that's after in progress so uh i cut away most of the cedars that were choking the oaks see there's a couple of oaks like right there so i've been moving the yopon and the, the thing i'm getting knocked a little hole in here this is pretty all right and uh i almost feel like i could throw you know not good grass rye grass or something in here and just let it overseed Need to come back in with a bucket and pick up, you know, all of those things. There's a few over there, a few leftovers. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to, like, that uh, that cedar that's tangled in the uh, oak. I'll get that. But it, it was so thick in here, I couldn't get them earlier. 
There's another cedar. This is a cedar that I showed before to show you how parasitic they are. So look at that. That cedar is right into that oak tree. That oak tree would have started first. And then that cedar dropped in there and it's just going to choke it to death. Well, then this little cedar here will, will die and they grow in families, right? That's an oak. That's, a, that's how live oak grow. But uh, then these get in there and kill them. So there's a couple more like that over there. So out of this front paddock, I'll probably get another five decent logs I can use on my reciprocal ceiling. But oh my gosh, I'm telling you, it's it's really rather dangerous to log in this kind of heat. I do it, but uh, <laughs> you know, it's not safe. But uh, anyway, I'm, got, I'm gonna get ready to go over in another paddock that hasn't been pushed at all that's just as thick as that woods and uh, see if I can knock some holes in it this evening at the very least and then load up my tractor I needed it back at my ranch so little log I missed the first time I was over here I'm gonna go load it up this time before I come back and do the rest of them this one's oak though yeah it looks like I missed missed the middle a little bit there for sitting here talking instead of paying attention. One more time. It's hard to drive a tractor and pick up stuff on a fork truck at the same time. Got a little tire going soft too. If I'm not careful, I'll lose this tractor in the woods like I normally do. gonna have to scooch things around a little bit. I gotta load that box up as well. Let me get things rearranged. Well, a storm and the wind has come up and uh, I don't want to mow uh, in a woods with trees blowing around, widow makers, yeah, or, or lightning, either way. <laughs> I'm gonna load up my tractor and come back another day and work another day. Uh, the storm feels amazing, but uh, getting killed in it wouldn't be fun so i guess that's it for today i'm gonna go home shower up uh you know another day uh of uh extreme in texas i can only get so much done it's after five o'clock and you know i do a full day's work for my uh day job but then i run out of time here so anyways this is steve uh you know i didn't teach anything today this is my personal journal of what I'm doing to build a house off grid. Ooh I sure had a big day. <laughs> kind of got a lot in. It rained. A uh, storm came up while I was in the middle of shredding that forest. And I don't want to be in there when tree limbs are falling down. A lot of trees did fall down. In fact, a big wind now. Now it's 77. And one little storm, a half hour storm, it went from 102 to 77. Uh, I'm not complaining. It's nice to have it all the way down. So I made it back home. Uh, nice to have a little rain on the ground. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> it sure does make a big difference on the pasture. And I'm hoping the horses get to keep uh, grass all all this year. Uh, it's been brown several years running. So I got a shower. I shaved. I'm feeling good. I'm going to turn in for the night. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Just a, a regular day uh, for a guy <laughs> here in Texas. And I worked a full eight. <laughs> Bye.